The bell rang, signaling the end of recess. Miss Gallagher's students at Woodridge Elementary raced back to their classroom, expecting to find it just as they had left it. But as little Charlie opened the door, a gust of chilly wind made him shiver. The entire classroom had transformed into a snowy winter wonderland. Wow, exclaimed Lucy, staring wide-eyed at the snow-covered desks and icicles hanging from the ceiling. It's like Narnia in here. But what was most puzzling was the lack of any disturbance outside the classroom. There were no wet footprints, no snowy trails, nothing. Class, Miss Gallagher said, her voice tinged with surprise. This wasn't my doing. The students exchanged glances. If it wasn't Miss Gallagher, then who? Over the next few days, similar odd occurrences took place. One day, the classroom resembled a scorching desert, complete with mirages and sand dunes. Another day, they found themselves amidst a dense forest with fairy lights and enchanted animals. Each transformation was so realistic that the children could feel the heat of the desert, smell the fresh pines of the forest, and hear the soft whispers of the fairy world. One afternoon, as the class was busy with an art project, Sam, a keen observer with a penchant for puzzles, leaned close to his best friend, Mia, and whispered, Have you noticed the pattern? Mia looked puzzled. Pattern? Sam nodded vigorously. The scenes, they're all from our reading assignments. First was the Chronicles of Narnia, then Journey to the Center of the Earth, and today it's the Enchanted Forest. Mia's eyes widened with realization. You're right! Someone is bringing our books to life. The duo decided to investigate. They began discreetly observing their classmates, looking for any hint or clue about the mysterious transformations. They noted everyone's whereabouts during recess and started to eliminate suspects. One day, Mia noticed little Elsie, a quiet girl who always had her nose buried in a book, sketching something that looked eerily similar to the settings they'd witnessed in the classroom. Elsie, Mia approached, her voice gentle. Your drawings, they're beautiful, and they look just like our classroom's transformations. Elsie blushed, her fingers nervously twisting her hair. Oh, those? Just imagination. Sam raised an eyebrow, catching Elsie's hesitance. Do you think there's a link between your drawings and the magic in the classroom? Elsie gulped. Magic! Just then, the bell rang and the classroom door creaked open. The students were met with a scene straight out of Treasure Island. Pirate ship, a treasure chest, and an old parchment map laid out on Miss Gallagher's desk. The sandy shores of the pirate realm dominated the classroom. As the students examined the scene, a small band of pirates emerged from behind a makeshift tavern. Their leader, Captain Flint, with a menacing scar across his cheek, bellowed, We're here to find our lost treasure, and perhaps a few recruits for the crew. While the pirates busily rummaged through the classroom, tossing aside textbooks and emptying backpacks, Sam spotted a worn-out parchment map slipping from the belt of a distracted pirate. Seizing the moment, he deftly swiped it. Mia, catching on, whispered, this could be our clue out of this mess. Examining the map, they spotted a trail leading to an X marked right over the school library's location. Scribbled alongside was, to reclaim lost tales, one must sail to where the story unveils. A library, Sam and Mia exclaimed in unison. With Elsie reluctantly in tow, they snuck past the pirates and made their way to the school library. Once there, Mia, in a frenzy, pulled out an ornate book titled The Magic of Imagination. Reading a passage, she discovered the potent combination of Elsie's drawings and the book's magic. Elsie admitted, I found that book last week and sketched in it. I just didn't know about its power. We need to reverse this quickly, Sam asserted, before those pirates decide to turn the school into their new hideout. Returning to the classroom, they found it heavily guarded by pirates, 
with Miss Gallagher tied to the mast of the ship, looking exasperated. They needed a diversion. Elsie, her eyes lighting up with an idea, began sketching a parrot in the magical book. Moments later, a loud, colorful parrot flew into the classroom, squawking, Treasure! Treasure! As the pirates were distracted, Sam, Mia, and Elsie dashed to their desk. With utmost care, Elsie drew a magnificent door in the book, symbolizing a return to reality. Together, the students closed their eyes, wishing fervently for the enchantment to end. As they opened their eyes, the pirates, the ship, and all the magic began to fade, leaving behind the familiar surroundings of their classroom. Miss Gallagher, after being freed, said, Well, that was quite the vivid lesson on imagination's strength and the need for caution, wasn't it? The classroom returned to its usual self, but for the students of Woodridge Elementary, the air always held a hint of magic and adventure. They had learned to value their imagination, always paired with a dash of responsibility. This was a tall tale short, small but mighty stories, released in audio format. Create, read, and share more tales at talltale.com.